Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of Zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got a bunch of stuff to go over. One thing that you should definitely be aware of if you intend on playing Forsaken with some friends anytime soon. So let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. I've been seeing a lot of reports, a lot of clips of players playing Forsaken when all of a sudden they just get teleported outside of the bounds of the map. We showed this clip in the last edition of the Zombies News Update, but obviously as more people are experiencing this issue, we can kind of finally figure out what's causing it. Thanks to Talios over on Twitter where he experiences this issue, we can determine that this teleporter specifically is bugged. Where for whatever reason, if another player exits this teleporter and you're around it, it almost creates a shockwave effect around the teleporter itself, pushing the hapless player, most likely you, outside the bounds of the map and pretty much ending your game. So if you intend to play Forsaken with other players, whether that be in a public lobby or with co-op with your buddies, make sure you stay away from this area while anybody's going through this teleporter, or you could end up like these unfortunate players did with a basically game over. Treyarch has not released their first patch for Forsaken yet, We'll hope that this issue is somewhere in that first update. Next up, moving on to our second story. This is the week that Treyarch and Call of Duty have kind of been hyping up all of last week, even past the initial release of Season 6 and the Forsaken Zombies map. Where if you remember, back on October 5th, a week ago tomorrow, Activision and Treyarch said this, You do not want to miss everything planned for this season, starting with an unprecedented free redrop next week. That next week is now this week, with players speculating that it could in fact be something zombies related. With October traditionally being the month associated with some new zombies news and kind of little updates, it's a good guess to make. Was initially thought that this unprecedented free drop could be in the form of Nocturantone being its own playable map here in Black Ops Cold War. But maybe they simply ported the map of Noct into the game just for the side easter egg on Forsaken and, and not to make it its own map after all. The phrasing they use is very interesting for COD, saying it's an unprecedented free drop. They usually don't hype things up like that unless they think they've got really something special up their sleeves, so at least they say it's a free drop, we won't have to pay a dime for it. And I'm very much hoping it's zombies related, we'll get info about exactly what that is very soon. Next up, speaking of other clips that I've had people send me on Forsaken, and that you'll probably end up experiencing in your own game, as it seems pretty pervasive, is that when you complete the Dare Eyes and Draka mini game, the dragon just decides to not launch and just stay there. You eventually will get teleported back into the actual map, but you won't get a reward for completing your Easter egg, with some players reporting that they can actually hear the dragon launching like several minutes after they get teleported out of this arena. Unfortunately, there's no known fix for this. You just have to eat it. At least you randomly just don't end up going down like the other issue we covered in the video. But again, I'm hoping they fix this with their first patch. But guys, that wraps up the news today. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hey, consider leaving a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you with another Zombies News Update tomorrow. Peace.